out 24 seven. I never put them away. Mm -hmm. Number one, I do have my Cricut maker. It sits on this end of my crafting <laughs> table. Number two, I have my Gemini because for many, many years, the best we could do was crank and crank and crank. And quite frankly, I didn't use a lot of my embossing folders. And quite frankly, I didn't use a lot of my dies Doesn't because there was me. just so much effort. When you get a Gemini, all of that changes, and it changes in an instant because the Gemini does all the work for you. Well, look at a die this intricate. Yes. Something with this much. And when we talk about intricacy, Suzanne, what we're talking about is how many times, if you imagine this is the roller, how many times are we asking your machine to cut at the same time? Mm. I'm asking it to cut around about 50 times here, which is the most amount of times I have been able to find in any one die, right? Wow. wow. Now, fully automated. You offer this into the mouth of the machine. The machine automatically engages, feeds it through. You don't have to worry about adjusting the pressure based on what material you're working with, how hard you're going, doesn't matter. It's going to work straight for you. Now, these controls on here, you've got the on and off button. Actually, it's fully automated, so you offer it, the rest happens automatically. However, I paused it and reversed it just to show you that reverse function. Now, if I lift this up now, those of you who are avid die hard die cutters mm -hmm. you will be oogling at the screen now be like oh my word I wish I could get results like that right. but it's not just die cutting because now we can do our embossing so what I'm now going to do is take the rubber embossing mat down by the way the embossing mat comes included so if you are wanting to do die cutting or embossing all of your mats are included even mats which you don't need at the moment I've included for you, yes, you have. because I've tried to future proof the machine I I know those of you who've been on the die cutting bandwagon like I am for the last 15 years you upgrade from machine to machine to machine I promise you this is the last die cutting machine you will need to buy because instead of building it to work with dies that are out here today I've built it to cope with the die cutting technology we're working on to launch in the next couple of years right. so the most amount of pressure you could have them in, in, in a machine we've built into this machine and look at this Look at this. That's incredible. Straight through. Oh. One time, one pass. So we've wow. done one pass to cut, one pass to emboss. The beautiful embossed detail. Even on the butterfly mm. wings there, it is absolutely perfect. There is not not even a single bit that I needed to pop out of there. Right. It literally fell out, Suzanne. I have, um, I'm part of a stamping club, and I love doing, we meet every month, and she's got a traditional cranky machine, and we will start doing some of these really intricate die cuts, and you have to go back and forth up to five and six passes oh. just to get them to cut the die, yeah. not emboss at all, no. just trying to get the die to cut. You don't do that. You never crank again, which is wonderful. And here's what it translates for me, Sarah, is I now use and enjoy all the dies I own and all the, the embossing folders I have forgotten about. because yeah. I have I wouldn't use them because it was too much work it yeah. really was it was simply too cumbersome well for me it's either really intricate designs and this is the way the market's going die cutting is getting more and more intricate and if you want to keep up at the forefront of the die cutting technology this is the machine that's going to hold your hand and enable you to do that. But likewise, all of the dies that you already have, right? Mm -hmm. So I've taken, this is one of the dies that's in the set, by the way, and I've cut through leather. <laughs> not, not, not a full leather. Look how thick that leather is. I've cut genuinely through leather. I've cut through a mount board. This is the thickest board. This is photo mount. Wow. And I've cut through that. Now, I'm going to take a 3D folder and emboss mm -hmm. through it. Now, I'm embossing uh, one of the 3D folders wow. that comes in the kit. Now, tell them, really, you're pushing this machine doing this technique. Do you, know what I, do you know what doesn't worry me, though? Because I can push the machine. If I push it too hard, do you know what happens? It stops and it returns. They'll say, nope, you can't do that. So, <laughs> so many people, they're always ringing our office and they're saying, can it cut this, can it cut that? And do you know what we say? Give it a go. Yeah. Because all that happens is the machine senses how much pressure it's having, how much power it's having to draw down to feed that through. If you've asked too much of it, it literally cuts out, re-engages, and auto-reverses. Well, and she hasn't even shown you fabric. She can, how many layers of fabric have uh, you ever gone through? Layers of fabric for eight. you right next. Look right? at that. Oh, that is a that machine. sculpted yeah. 3D. Have I got any gilding wax left on my finger? No, because but that would have looked awesome <laughs> with a bit of gilding wax on there. And you can see exactly the same on the mount board. Who would have dreamed? This crazy. is that 3D embossing. That's now, crazy. if you've gone for the new Sheena folders, imagine having embossing in the background, three-dimensional sculpted designs in the foreground, 
all achieved on that one machine. That's right? insane. Uh, you said you wanted to see fabric, yeah. right? I have got here eight layers of fabric. Now, when you're cutting into fabric, make sure you add in your metal plate, right? And yes, I know, the more you use this, it'll actually end up flattening itself out. Mm -hmm. Or you can just and run it through with nothing And expect to see that. A lot of people freak out when you first no. get it. Also, if you hear cracking when it's going through, don't worry about that either. It's supposed yeah. to do that. <laughs> do you know what it is? It's crying because it's, you get a lot of cracking when you do things like felt. Yeah. Right, because what it's doing is it's cutting through the fibers of the paper. Do you know what might be good actually while this is going through Susan if I bring this board in these are all the different materials that we've cut so we've cut through things like bamboo and canvas cardstock and chipboard and cork and there's the um, the leather that we've just mm. done but then you can go through things like wood um, actually I've got a rem the inside of a drinks can here as well we could try and cut if you so look at your soda, can, soda can I always okay. like to do that here's a quick update too we have five flex for tonight only on this again it is such a game changer if you've got a lot of dyes or a few dyes a lot of embossing folders or a couple if you've wanted to get more maybe you've got an old crank system that's just not doing it anymore and you're having to make multiple passes don't buy another one just get yourself a, a gemini and use our flex pay because in five months you pay it off any major credit card or paypal but do not miss out we have now sold almost 600 we only have a little over a thousand available and with this configuration you're getting all the plates you see her work with it's all the plates you need then on top of that you get the magnetic shim which i love that well, should we should we show you everything that's in the yeah, bundle because like you say i've built this to be future proof so all these plates are going to cope with not only the dies of today but the dies that you're going to be working with tomorrow so these are all the plates brand new bundle today yeah. this is the first time you're seeing this bundle brand new dies you've got the mixed media dies in there which are for things like your leather and your mount board you've got our edgeable dies you've got the creator card style that huge 3d folder that's in there as well and all of those you've I wanted those of you who are starting on your die cutting journey and starting with the top of the range of the machine that everyone aspires to own to have everything you need to get started. And it's right in the box. And again, a ton of dies come with it. So if you just did the die value alone, that's pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a soda right. can. So this is literally the inside of a soda can. <laughs> so I've die cut it. I'm then going to pop it into that 3D embossing folder. We're going to send it through and 3D emboss it. And this is the great thing I love about this, Susan, is you can try all sorts. It's right. all about upcycling. Right. And the things that you've got at home, try and cut them. All the dyes that you've had and owned for many, many years and can now get so much more use out of. That's true. In fact, I want to do one of my favourite demos next, right? Okay. What about, um, this is a dye, I always bring this one in. This is a dye I've personally owned for years. It's a Tim Holtz one. Oh, you've wow. You've got the no same kidding. one, right? Great. The Tim Holtz snowflake, I've had that for years and years. Let me just show you that 3D oh, embossing. Awesome. I mean, soda that can. Is, that's what a about soda creating can. your own like pendants or oh. <gasps> spectrum Ornaments. markers on this? Oh my oh, gosh! Oh yes, yeah. and, and that literally is a soda can, right? <laughs> so, Tim Holtz, you know what he's like for his mixed media? Yes. Right. However, his dyes only cut paper. Isn't that a shame? His yeah. dyes only cut paper. He's always doing stuff with fabric, felt, denim. This is literally uh, an old denim skirt, this one, right? <laughs> so, if you want to cut denim, can your Tim Holtz dye that was only designed to cut paper cut through denim? I don't know. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I do know, actually, because I did this earlier today. This is what I, lo I love doing this demo. When you're cutting through fabric, make sure you cut through and into the base cutting plate, right? <laughs> then you're going to go regular sandwich. So we're going to put our clear plastic shim. We're going to put our um, magnetic shim. And we're going to use our other cutting plate on the top. So this is exactly the same platform combination we'd use if we're cutting paper. All we've added in is the metal shim. It's the sheer volume of pressure in the machine that literally enabled, there we go, you to can cut hear through. It go. Yeah, you can is. hear it's cut through, and then when we lift this out, I'm so lacking in patience, <laughs> the 18 seconds it takes for this to go through. Um, patience is a virtue, I don't always have, Susan, but you know <laughs> that we've worked together long enough, right? Look at this. When oh, that's I've crazy. This through now, this is okay. cut wow. absolutely perfect. You imagine how much time and how much money have you spent. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. How much money have you spent on buying dyes in the past? Dyes which you thought could only cut Do paper. paper. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm very aware this is a considered purchase, right? I'm, I, it's not something you can just decide on a whim. But one of them things is all that money you've already spent on dyes. Get yourself a Gemini. You can cut ten times more material with it. That's ten times more stuff. All the stuff you've already spent, you're getting all that extra use yeah. out of. And you can use really delicate stuff too. I mean, you know, it's that it's that sensitive to being able to cut. Yes. So if you're doing really really delicate well, things, do tissue paper. Yes, yeah, I did. I did this one project where mm -hmm. I took circles, your circles, and I have it on my YouTube page. And I did a, I bought a dollar store outdoor like paper lantern, and then using your circle, 
with this yep. and tissue paper, I cut hundreds of circles and then okay. literally hot glued them. And it's this ball of white. It looks like feathers. How long and would that have I, taken you if you didn't have the Gemini? I would never have done the project. Because never you would have, have done too the project. I have a whole video on it and I used the Gemini with a circle, just a circle, yeah. a circle die. That was it. And, you know and what it I turned out so people, cute. What I said to you is, you are going to buy your Gemini at some point. If it's not today, at some point in the next 12 to 18 months, if you are wanting to keep up with the pace of change and innovation in the die cutting market, you will need to invest in the Gemini because the dies that are out there, you just won't be able to cut on your regular die cutting machines. Because they're getting too advanced. So and you also might too, as well have and it you know now. what's so sad? If you, I would, you're probably just like me. I have tons of Anna Griffin dies and I have tons of uh, embossing folders from Sarah and diamond cut pieces. Yeah. And you know what? That is beautiful. Isn't that? How fantastic. That's right, a great idea. And I want to show you 50 you sheets of what? tissue paper. Is this really 50? 50 no sheets way. of tissue paper. Yeah, because can very you see, you've got, you've got 10 <gasps> sheets and then folded in Look at that. Even right in the very center, right? So all these, by the time they wow. fold off, even in the very center, no loss of pressure on a dimensional sculpted 3D embossing folder. That's crazy. And if you crazy. don't have any 3D embossing folders, don't worry, one comes included in the kit. There you go. So you can give all. this a go straight away. And like I said, if you have a lot of this stuff at home and you're not using it, because it really is too arduous to crank and crank and crank. Just treat yourself to a Gemini tonight. All right, we're going to move on because oh, wait till you see the next.